It might surprise you to learn what's behind some people's decision to get vaccinated or not against COVID. Medical reporter Liz Bonus has details from a new survey that was conducted right here in the tri-state. Hey there, everybody. Interact for Health actually conducted this survey. They are an organization set up to help improve the health of all people. And since attitudes tend to determine behavior, especially with vaccines, here's a bit of what they found. About 25% of those surveyed overall said they were still planning to get the vaccine or were still considering it. More of those still considering it appear to be African American. While only 24% of African American adults reported they've received the vaccine, more than 34% said they definitely will get it. This compared to only 3% of white adults. This suggests there are African Americans who would like to get vaccinated but haven't yet, providing an opportunity for additional community outreach. The top reasons for not getting vaccinated cited were safety, followed by fear of side effects and the vaccine development timeline. Only about one in five said it was because they'd already had COVID-19. Healthcare providers are considered the most trusted source for the vaccine information, followed by your pharmacist and your local health department. And finally, while well, at least six in 10 surveyed said they had a convenient trusted place that fits their schedule to get the vaccine, it was less so for minorities. The survey showed African-American adults and those living in poverty are less likely to think it was very easy to find a vaccine, which the research associates with this survey say shows. The reasons for vaccine hesitancy or the reasons people haven't gotten vaccinated yet are not necessarily the stereotypes that we hear, right? So these are not people that uh, just have decided they're definitely not going to get the vaccine, right? There are people who are still struggling to find it. There are people who have valid concerns um, for their own health or their own safety or based on experiences they've had in the past. And those people should be respected and we should do our best to, to get the vaccine into, into the arms of people who want it. Right now, slightly more than half of all Americans are fully vaccinated. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.